Over the past few weeks, we've seen how social media insights help one better understand the sentiment towards companies and various industries. Today, we're looking at the airline industry, and it's an industry that I am very sure is used to its fair share of complaints from cranky travelers, waiting in queues, missing flights, oh, and the bugbear, losing luggage. Uh, Melanie Malherb is the head of client engagement at uh, Brands Eye, and she joined us now for social media analysis and insider research, and we're talking the airline industry. Uh, what are the key themes that have come out of the conversation this week? So as you said, the airline industry obviously gets its fair share of service-related queries, um, but we've looked at the past month and a half, just to see what the sentiment is towards, towards the airlines in SA specifically. And it actually paints quite an interesting picture. Um, if you look at it, you can, we, we picked up on one speci specific company that actually had quite a bad month um, mm. with, with a marketing effort that was supposed to drum up positive sentiment and it actually went quite wrong for them. So as I said, we looked at the data from the 7th of June up until now yeah. um, and, and looked at uh, Flystaff Air, SAA, Mango and, and Kalula and um, as you can see there, there was a lot of conversation, actually quite positive around SAA and Mango. Right. And that was driven by um, both SAA and Mango actually having their first uh, flights using biofuel. Oh yes, I saw that tobacco. Mm. Uh, Nicotine free tobacco, yes. I think Project Solaris it's called. Yeah. So they had their first flights using that. And then the other positive driver behind the SAA was them being announced as Africa's best airline. Is this the Skytrax Awards, I think, uh, which is almost like the Oscars of the it's aviation industry? Exactly that, yes. Yeah. So that drummed up quite a lot of positive conversation for those two brands. Kalula was sitting there with a bit of negative sentiment still, and that was just related to, as we said earlier, the normal you know, mm. negative baggage, flights delayed, those types of conversations. The, the one that stands out there is definitely Flystaff yeah. Air this month. They had a lot of volume and mostly... Mostly negative. negative. Yes, and that was related to, like I said, the marketing effort they had, where they had 15,000 um, tickets that they sold for two rand I a missed ticket. that completely. No, I can't. I two, kind of two, two rand sales. Sale. Two rand sales. So sale. this is the spike uh, that's actually showing us the, that the, 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 the two rand sales. Yes, wow. on the day they had 11,000 mentions specifically related to that sale. As you can see, the blue line at the bottom, that's the, posi the positive sentiment. And that's obviously related to people getting their flights and right. being excited about this. Yeah. But the service crashed. Um, ah. And that drove a lot of negative sentiment and a lot of people were really Isn't unhappy about it. Isn't that almost expected though? It's almost like when they, uh, back in the day, I don't know if they still do it, where they have the red hanger sale at Edgar's or something and everything is like at, I don't know, 5%. Yeah. At some point, uh, it's not going to be a system crash, but it's just not sustainable. People not being able to handle what they actually put out there. And mm. it has happened to a few brands on the, at least the digital side of things. Um, the thing that was interesting actually is that if you look at the sentiment now and how it's, it's moved from then to now, it unfortunately for them hasn't been a good story. So you can mm. see they actually started off as a really positive brand. Right. And then the sentiment on the day dropped to minus, you know, negative 19%. And it hasn't recovered mm. just as of yet. It has recovered to the point of being positive again. But it, it kind of leaves you to believe that if someone has, has had a bad experience with a company one time, mm. you know, how long does it take them to recover from that bad experience? Mm. And mm. as you can see, so, here, it's so taking in a fact, while. what we're seeing here that the investment that they probably made as a company actually hasn't uh, brought in, uh, you know, greater visibility because they've just flatlined overall. Exactly. Yeah, they've they've not recovered at all, and, and it's not a po as positive as impact as uh, I think they would have wanted. It's also interesting that SAA was also positive because this week there's a lot of talk uh, around the, that dodgy contract, allegedly dodgy contract with BNP, mm. um, and it's interesting how consumers will look at their personal experience rather and gone than rather than you know sort of the bigger stories yeah. um, so that's interesting in terms of the a, uh, the aviation sector yes. but we also look at uh, the, the 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 train tracker mm. uh, so what what is the the trend of the week uh, that uh, has come up this week this is the question we put into Melanie now and what's trending this week so we had a look at the retail industry um, and specifically two supermarkets who launched two marketing initiatives, the one being Pick and Pay with their Super Animals campaign yeah, and the one being Checkers, the other one being Checkers with their Little Shop campaign. And it was mostly aimed at kids and getting toys and getting them excited. I think um, the nag factor where kids <laughs> want their parents to go and buy at a certain place um, to get these toys. So the Pick and Pay, we're looking at the first five days of conversation here. Yeah. Uh, pick and Pay definitely drumming up a lot more conversation than Checkers Little Shop. And also, 60% of that conversation is actually positive. 
Um, we, if you look at Checkers Little Shop, only 30% of it is positive conversation, but neither of them had negative conversation. Mm. So it's either a neutral conversation or, or a positive conversation. If you look at the, the bottom line there being pick and pay stickies, which was the first of its kind of this type of campaign, ah. very little conversation in the first five days, but as we all know, that kind of exploded into a massive campaign. So pick and pay obviously has learned some interesting lessons from the stickies campaign and they've gone and they've implemented that with their super animals. And you can see that just by looking exactly. at the, the density of the conversation. Exactly. They also have the cards that are handed out in shop and an application. Um, for the kids to play around with. The interesting thing about the, the, the checkers one is that it was aimed at, at um, kids and children, but the adult um, consumer actually found a lot of appeal to the little... I'm sorry, I don't understand this. When I saw this, I actually I, I completely just, my mind didn't register because what I saw was this little uh, sunlight dishwashing liquid and a little Omo and a little That's peanut exactly butter. That's exactly what it is. And, and, and it's just a collection of these little items. That is, that is like, all it is. You, p you, you spend more than 150 Rand at Checkers and you get your little mini store item. I've got a little Simba chips packet in my at home. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and if you open it, is the actual Simba chips no, on the inside? No, oh, okay, no. Okay, it's just no, the it's <laughs> just a little miniature. Um. <laughs> Let's throw forward uh, to the big event uh, on on next week, of course. Um, and this is, of course, uh, it's going to be all focus on the the local elections. Mm. Um, how do you begin to then position uh, the the tracker so that you're able to track sentiments for that conversation? Um, so we obviously look at the conversation um, aimed at the, the, the parties themselves and mm. just kind of go, when people say this party, what mm. do they feel? Mm. So this week we looked at the shift from last week um, that course. we spoke about. Yeah. Um, so what you can see there is the EFF actually had a, a massive drop in, in net positive sentiment. Mm. Um, and that was mostly related to um, Julius Malema supporting the movement against Mugabe Credibility issues, right? Yeah, and it, it wasn't because he's supporting, you know, the, the 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 move against him. It was mostly because of credibility. People saying, "But you you were with him, yeah, and now you're changing your mind. And mm. how how do, how are we supposed to support you? In which way are we supposed to support support you now?" Mm. Uh, the DA didn't show much um, negative conversation this week. There wasn't actually a big event that actually dro yeah. drove their conversation. It just I think normalized from from what it was last week with the whole using Nelson Mandela in, in the advertisement exactly. thing. And, then on and the that's ANC died down a little bit. It, it's definitely died down. Um, on the ANC side, it's still very much negative. The usual suspects, um, SABC, corruption case. But the one that also popped up this, this week mm. was the Marius Franzmann um, possibly being you know, brought back into his position mm. and people mm. being quite unhappy about that. And of course, I think it was uh, Monday was uh, uh, International uh, Mandela Day. Mm -hmm. um, and my interest has always been whether we've been able to sustain uh, that day as an international, uh, truly an international day mm. versus just it being a South African uh, recognized day. Yeah, so there were about 30,000 tweets around the Mandela mm. Day um, projects and it was mostly around celebrity saying, and that's actually a Colombian person um, oh, wow. tweeting that there. Um, obviously, your cele celebrities like DJ Fresh showing what they did for the day, and then your big corporations, how they supported the day. And then also, unfortunately, a lot of conversation around Gugu um, mm. Zulu mm. and his, his passing. Mm. Gugu mm. Zulu, of course, uh, being a big talking point. And of course, uh, th I was about to s uh, say that uh, Michelle versus Melania. Uh, that's, a, that's another conversation that uh, had everybody uh, tweeting this week. Yeah, many memes coming out, <laughs> many <laughs> jokes coming out. Um, Maybe we should have a look at that next week. Absolutely. <laughs> I think uh, we should have a, a look at uh, Melania versus Michelle or the other way around. And a big thank you to Melanie uh, Malherb. She is the head of client engagement at Brands. I 